afternoon and welcome to number 26 Plas Newton Lane in a hidden part of Plas Newton that not everybody knows. I know about it because I went to high school just over there just a few years ago, um, or more than a few years ago. But this is a little cul-de-sac which lies just off Plas Newton Lane. The lane to the side takes you up to the historic Newton Hall. Um, there is access down the side because the property's got a further garage around the back which I'll show you which has been park converted. So I'm stood on the elevated driveway, which has been fully tarmac, so it's a nice smooth run up with pl plenty of car parking. And I like, you've got this gravel border here with the raised railway sleepers, raised railway sleepers on this side as well with the elevated lawn. At the front of us, the outlook is just green, hedge, so you've got no, no real road noise coming across, but you've got greenery, and from upstairs, the views are so, so elevated. So as you come to the front of the house, it's a really funky, contemporary look. These properties are flat roofed, but the owner has made quite a lot of changes to the room layouts. Originally, this would have been a garage here, and the owner has converted it into living accommodation, which really works. But again, I like how this frontage, it's been clad uh, in this granite effect, sparkling material, which really gives it a nice frontage. You've got all the spotlights coming down. And as we get to the main entrance door, it's this lovely olive colored composite double glazed door, which takes you into a nice wide entrance hall, initial doormats, all decorated really well. The house has all been done in the last four years since the owner bought it. He's refurbished it completely. So things like the electrics, the heating system, the kitchen, the bathroom, the decorating, even the layouts are said, has all been changed. So from the entrance hall, there's a good size on the stairs covered there with newly carpeted stairs taking you to the first floor. And then you've got a nice oak effect door here, which takes you through to now the open plan living dining room, which is situated on the ground floor. Originally, the living space was upstairs, which kind of works for some, but I think this is much more functional. So we've got a nice view again from the window here, overlooking your front garden and then beyond to so lots of greenery. The boiler is hidden away in this cupboard behind the door, so it's a combination boiler. And then it flows through, spotlights in the ceilings as well, to this great dining area with UPVC double French doors, which open straight onto your patio. So on a summer's day, you open it up completely. So it's a good sized dining space. And now, wow, let me show you the kitchen. So the kitchen situated to the rear of the house has got this range of white high gloss handleless fitted units, really sleek with these square edge work surfaces and the stainless steel sink, but with this black ceramic style surround, which just gives that contemporary feel together with this brick effect tiling. You've got nice views over the back garden. In the kitchen, you've got quality Bosch integrated electric oven. You've got an induction hob here with the extractor over and a dishwasher is built in just here. There's room over here for a freestanding fridge freezer with quite a lot of good storage space here as well. It's a really nice kitchen, ceramic tile flooring, and you're overlooking the back garden. So I'll show you around the back now, just because it's threatening to rain. So as you go through the French doors, as you see, it's really well enclosed, so safe if you have animals or pets. It's all been paved and hard landscaped, so there's no lawn mowing, less, less maintenance but a nice area here for your barbecue. You've got the big wall there, which gives you a feeling of enclosure. And we've got the hot tub there, which may be available by separate negotiation. A bit of artificial turf takes you through to the second garage of the property, which the owner has converted to this rather fun room. So this was converted by the owner from a garage, plenty of parking, to a bar man cave. I would just love this sort of setup, somewhere to escape. So you've got the bar, Great, you've got your bar stools, you've got a place to watch TV or do some gaming. Little heater here, so brilliant. Much better than a garage, garages are boring. So that's this room. And then back, what's left of the garage is this area here, but it's all been fenced off so you can't see it from your hot tub. You've still got some storage in this cupboard. And then I'll show you out here, because this is down the side of the property. So not the most attractive thing to see, but this is where you hide your bins. It's still got the garage front. So you've still got a bit of room for storage. And like I say, that there is just open. That's an old school field now, part of the university. Down there is to the historic Newton Hall. So back into the low maintenance back garden. So if you're looking for somewhere with nice views, but very little to do and everything done inside, this could be the home for you. Now upstairs, we've got three bedrooms, the really good size, as well as a sumptuous main bathroom. So let me show you that. So here we are on the first floor, great lighting, light grey contemporary carpet, just gives it that real modern sleek feel. We've got three bedrooms as discussed. I'll take you through to the master because this is my favourite bedroom by far. It's a really good sized room, you've got two windows, so loads of natural light and view. 
This window here, again, is overlooking the grounds of the former Kingsway High School, now the university campus. And then you've got this full width UPVC double glazed window, a panoramic view. On a good day, you can, you can see the mountain range of the Clyde and Mountain Range. You also see the sun setting to the west. You're really high up, so you've got a really elevated feel as the road sweeps down. So big room, but also nice view. So that's bedroom one. I'll take you now to bedroom two, which is an equal, not quite as big, but good sized double bedroom. Again, lots of nice light via two windows. Again, same view down the side towards the high school. And then the rear view is looking across to the right of the high school and down towards Newton Hall, where you can just about see the roof of the lovely old building. And then you've got two double wardrobes built in there with sliding doors and a central storage cupboard there with built-in shelving. The oak effect doors continue all the way through the house. And then we've got a third bedroom, a bit of a dressing room or a, or a study, but it would make a decent sized single bedroom for a child as well. Nice single bed would easily go down there and you've got room for desk or drawers. And then saving the last thing, it's one of the nicest rooms in the house, even though all the rooms are nice in this house, is the shower room. So again, newly done within the last four years, modern white suite, but look at this large walk-in shower cubicle with the floating overhead rain style shower head and then this wash hand basin with a dark grey laminate finish really really um, attractive uh, under storage it's tiled approximately halfway but again the grey is bringing out the grey of the floor and the grey underneath here so really nice shower room three good bedrooms and downstairs you've got the open plan lounge diner beautifully pointed kitchen low maintenance garden and the pub in the garden with the hot tub so if you want to come and view this property, give us a call at Current Homes. Our number is 01244 313 900. Thanks for watching.